Amy Watson has been waking up Middle Tennessee and Southern Kentucky for nearly 20 years. Her name is synonymous with News Channel 5 as she's walked so many of you through tragedies, heartbreak, hope, and happiness. She's been living her dream, but it's time to close this chapter of her story, which started so many years ago growing up in Murray, Kentucky. As a little girl, Amy Bryan was always curious. I used to read out loud to my parents the newspaper. As she'd even tape record herself. The event was billed as a groundbreaking ceremony for New Job Corp Center in an isolated section of Edmondson County. And then when I got into high school, we had a TV station and I got to do the very first newscast. And honestly, that hooked me. I knew I loved current events and I loved to read and present. And then I was done. It's the only thing I ever wanted to do, to tell people stories. And not many have done it better. But let's build to that because we all have to start somewhere. And I'm for an Amy Bryan Watson, it gathering. started where it ends, to to in Hopkinsville. In After graduating State, from Murray State nation, University, Amy got to work sending out resume really tapes. I sent probably 100 tapes all over the country nothing. The but despite some here, doubts, she had hard. what it takes Preparing to pursue journalism. Perseverance paid off. Ann Petrie was the news director and anchor at TV 43 in Hopkinsville. And for some reason, she saw potential in that first reel right out of college. And she gave me a shot. With stops in nearby cities like Cape Girardeau and Chattanooga and a long stint as evening anchor in Paducah at WPSD-TV, Amy ultimately, though, made a selfless decision to step away and help raise her children. Her career in TV news was over until fate intervened. Charlie Neese and I, who was a meteorologist here for years at News Channel 5, we both worked at KFBS-TV in Cape Girardeau. A friend had once mentioned to Amy that if she ever wanted to reach her dream of working in television in Nashville, she should reach out to her former colleague who was now at the Big Nickel. So when they were looking for a new morning anchor here in 2006, Charlie was in a meeting and he said, your name just popped into my head. But Amy was out of the business. She was a full-time mom. And he emailed me, he tried to call me. Charlie finally got in touch with Amy through her husband, Derek, and Charlie was blunt. I want you to have this job. But the Watsons had moved back to Hopkinsville for Derek's job. They had two mortgages and three growing children. It was really a trying time for my family. And when this job came through, I, I really got on my knees and just thanked God. It was a blessing from above. But it did mean over an hour commute from Hoptown each morning in the middle of the night. The hardest part about the commute and the shift is getting up at 1 a.m. When the kids were little, it meant them tucking mom into bed. But it allowed time for other opportunities. I could pick up the kids from school. I could take them to soccer and to dance. And we could do all those things. And we could eat together as a family. That was so important to us to have family meals together. The fact that you raised three children, mm -hmm. drove over an hour mm -hmm. to work each and every day in the middle of the night, yeah. hit some deer along the way. Yeah, five, made it five deer. Not that we're counting. <laughs> but honestly, to, to still be as perky and as professional as you've yeah. been, how hard has that been to still maintain such a great face and such well, a positive attitude throughout well, all of that? It is hard because I want to be genuine and I want to be real. And, and when things happen with the kids or what, whatever is going on in your life that might not be so great, you still have to come on and you have to ease people into the morning. And you want to be that pleasant personality or that face that that people can relate to and they have for nearly two decades in middle tennessee and southern kentucky Good whether morning. it was snowstorm coverage hey, out morning, in the cold guys. for hours leland said it was going to happen and it's here about a half an inch of snow in hopkinsville right now or getting stuck in traffic for all to see a moment so many still remember three hours 37 minutes and counting i've been trying to make my way into nashville or just trying to keep a straight face all right well the world's friendliest beaver will have another place to call home <laughs> <laughs> I knew y'all were going to lose it. I actually meant to go in and change this. <laughs>
Her accolades showcase her accomplishments. Nine Emmy Awards, amongst many others. You might wonder how someone who seemingly has it all could walk away from an accomplished career where she still has so much more to give. Time changes priorities. Amy wanted more time with family, especially with her mother. I want to honor her by being there through the end of her life. Amy was there for her mother, who sadly passed at the end of September. You know, we like to think of ourselves as one big family in the mornings here. And for those of us who've been lucky enough to work by Amy's side, it comes as no surprise she's continuing to put others first. She's left such an impression on all of us, especially Leland Statham, who's worked with Amy for nearly 20 years. I will miss having her around big time because again, you know, when it's a friend, it's tough to see them go. They were instant friends with kids around the same age. From the beginning, there was just a great connection. Whether it's out of community events, reporting live from the field, or sharing your stories, Amy's connection through authenticity and empathy shine through. Perhaps never more so than in her recent series, My Hero, where she highlights everyday citizens doing extraordinary things. And it is very emotional because this is my life's work and it's really hard when you've known you've wanted to do something since you were a little girl to all of a sudden you know take it and tuck it away and move on to a next chapter but I am excited about the next chapter whatever that may be as she's always done Amy will put family first taking care of everyone who needs help from her but will deservedly so take time for some self-care I want to take time to focus on my health. You know, raising three kids, working full time, I really haven't had a lot of time to take care of myself, and I want to do that. I'm going to start exercising regularly. I'm going to sleep better. I want to learn um, how to cook a little bit better, which my husband <laughs> is very excited about. Her husband, who's been with her every step of the way. It's my first and only viewer on <laughs> MSU TV 11. Yeah, baby. From those days in the 80s to now, he gets up every morning with me and makes me a cup of coffee and walks me out to my car at 2 a.m. And um, he really has been everything through all of this. While those 1 a.m. wake up calls will stop and the hour long drives will end, her sweet family will now see more of her, although it means less of Amy for us. And while it's sad and we will miss her, She's going to miss all of us, too. I'm going to miss the people, and I think most of all, Ben, I'm going to miss um, telling people's stories. Um, people have invited me into their homes. They've accepted me. Uh, I'm so grateful for that. And forging those um, friendships and those bonds, I'm going to treasure that for the rest of my life. And we will treasure you oh, forever and always. Thank you. We love you. I love you, dear. Thank you. I want to say a huge thank you to our photojournalist, Evan Huddle, who went yes, through hours you, and hours of archival oh, footage of the great Amy Watson. And uh, obviously, this is super emotional for so many of us because uh, we have known you and uh, your sweet family and um, how you are always putting everyone else first. And uh, thank you. you have shown that in your incredible career, oh, um, whether it's here or in Paducah or Hopkinsville where it all started. It's amazing to see the feedback we've gotten from so many viewers who you, you have been a part of their families for so long and it's just hard to say good, goodbye um, to you. It, it's hard for me to say goodbye. I can't believe that this week is, is here. Um, you all have known. Um, we've kept it pretty quiet that that I was already going to retire before my mother passed and that is a regret that she she was so excited that I was going to get to to enjoy some some me time finally and that anyway I know she's I know she's up there smiling yeah, down yes, on us yes, here yes. but um, I truly I, 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 there's so many people I need to thank my parents obviously for all, the, all their support throughout all of this and um, and and Petrie, who gave me my first job, and of course to you know the management and staff here at News Channel Five, who have always said family first, mm -hmm. Amy. And um, thank you, Lynn Plantinga. Thank you, Sandy Brunstra and Michelle Bonnet 
for always um, helping me make that happen for my family because that truly is the thing that means the most to me. And, and you guys are second. Oh. <laughs> you guys are all, oh, you guys are all, all right. second. Yeah. Uh -huh. Well, uh, today is not the day. Thankfully, no. guys, for this better or worse, we have a lot yeah. more tears uh -huh. and, and laughs and, and smiles to share together uh -huh. as a team. Uh, we're going to celebrate Amy's legendary and impactful career uh, she's had here in Middle Tennessee and beyond all week. So you got to join us Friday at 6.30 and at 9.30 as we officially send Amy off uh, to retirement in style. Um, but we do have several special messages as well oh, lined okay. up for you throughout the week. So Great. check out this message from a familiar face. Okay. I am so proud that you've had this storied career at News Channel 5. I'm so happy for you that you're entering this new stage of life, a new season. I wish you absolutely nothing but the best, and I am so thankful that you said yes to coming to News Channel 5.